Today we're going to be going over all the Jordan releases set to drop this month in August. I'm excited because there's a lot of sleepers and a couple bangers. Let's go ahead and get started with the first shoe. First up right here we have the Luca 2 Matador. What do you think about this shoe right here? It's kind of giving like a Statue of Liberty vibe. Hopefully it loads in. What do you think about these right here? That's a Reebok. No, nah, it's a Jordan. It looks like Reebok. It's a Jordan. I'm telling you it looks like Reebok. That looks like, like a Reebok. Like an old Reebok? No, it looks like an old Reebok. Reebok. No, it looks like an old Reebok. Okay, okay. That's what that's what I see, an old Reebok. If y'all go back and look at the old Reebok signs, I'm telling you, they bit a Reebok right there. I can there. see it a little bit. I can see it a little bit. Yeah. So, But overall, it's not a bad looking shoe. What do you think about it? I wouldn't, <sighs> I'm torn. What's the retail? <clears throat> it's not an ugly shoe. Retail's 130 bucks. It's a great looking shoe. It's a great looking <laughs> shoe. For 130? But are you gonna spend the 130? No. Nice. But, 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 would I wear this shoe? Yes. On or off the basketball court? Off the court. Off the court? I would wear this shoe off the court. You pulling up with some DNA merch? No, some I would mow the line. I would mow the line. Yeah, I would do all the things I need to do, my chores. No. Disrespect. <laughs> this next one right here, this one, classic OG, you can't go wrong, great shoe, all them things right there. But it's a low top. We haven't seen it like this before in a low version. This is a high top OG coming to life as a low top. So we got the Air Jordan 1 low OG black toe. I think the colorway is great. I think luckily they did that back end with the red. Because mm -hmm. if they didn't, it would give you that panda look. Mm -hmm. And I'd be upset. But this is this is literally... No, it's a great looking Black shoe. Black Toe 1 from 85. It's like, worth buying and I can see it at $185. $185 retail or resale? Retail. Retail. I can see it. I think... What's the retail on these? I don't know. I think it's 130 bucks or something like that. I think $140 they went up So we bucks. in between. Okay. Right now, in the current market, people are sleeping on these. A lot of people are saying the shoe is going to break. Think. That's the term that a lot of people like to use. They come out tomorrow. I think it's tomorrow or the next day and everybody's just like oh it's another addition to the collection you know but the low Something tops like, is great you can wear with everything and but that's the thing though like summertime before, before they used to be like the low tops like this was coming out and it was right. like 300 bucks now no. it's like 40 bucks over retail 20 bucks yeah. over retail like you probably can I think still the get shoe, it at a store. It, I think it's I think it'll probably go up over time. This is a shoe. I think it's worth having. I need must have pair. in your in your collection. I need two pair of these in my collection without. Because you can dress it up and dress it down. So is this a cop for you? For sure. I need two pair. He needs one. That's three. Fourteen. Triple cop. Yes. I would <laughs> I would rock those. Okay. This one right here. Now I am I'm trying to remember. I'm pretty sure this was a high top version, if I'm not mistaken. And now they're releasing it in a low top version. I want to say in like 2006 or something like that. I got to do my research. I don't remember because it was a women's release back then. But this shoe right here. For me, this is a must have. This the is Jordan 5 this low. Is, this shoe right here, to me, this is a must have. And I wouldn't care on the price. These are hard. I would want two pairs of these. These are so hard. <laughs> this shoe right here, the stitching is crazy. Yes. Everything, everything about this shoe right here for me, it's saying, yes, you need two pairs. Okay, so you got the pink accents at the bottom with the shark teeth with the splatter. It looks yeah. like you got a pink stitch on the upper yeah. and then you got the pink bib with the silver 3M tongue. Low top, all black Air Jordan 5. This is a great looking shoe. You yeah. got the translucent on the outsoles, on the side, on the nets. Now we had the Carolina 5. That right. came out in like 06 or something like that too. And that shoe I used to have for a long time. I got rid of them. Next thing you know, people's like hair start falling apart and everything. <laughs> uh, I want to see that Carolina 5. I need that to retro. Like, I don't know if a lot of everybody yeah, knows. Yeah, you know all the designers the watching go, okay, we'll do it. <laughs> like, we need that to retro, please. But this is a great shoe right here. I it's think a good it's a cop. Shoe. But at the same time, I think it's an easy cop. I think you might even be able to catch it on sale. What do you Why? think? Why? I mean, it's a simple shoe. And a lot of people like all the colors and all like a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. Like you said, the pink might steer a few people. Yeah. But it's clean. It's I just, just don't see like everybody running out to get this shoe. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? I think it's like everybody's being more way people more go so after like the one. The one, low top ones. And I think the demand isn't even there on the low top one like that. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's there, but it's not there. So for the low well, top five, <clears throat> you know, everybody doesn't like other low top numbers when it comes to five. A lot six, of people don't like a lot of low tops at all. Yeah, I get it. Unless they originated as a low top. Yeah. 
Yep. So that's another great release. So before we get into the next shoe, we got to talk about today's sponsor. Who's sponsoring what? ShopDNAShow.com. <laughs> <laughs> we got new hats. We got new teams. I'm like, who's sponsored today? I didn't hear about it today. <laughs> Link down below. <laughs> we got all the products down below. That's we hilarious. That <laughs> you threw me off. I'm like, what? I don't see anything around. <laughs> Sorry, could you say that Look again? at Siri trying to get Siri's put on Siri. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh. next up right here. So I used to have this. It was a PE for DJ didn't Augustine. Was this supposed to come out and then they didn't come out or something? Yeah, and now it's coming out. And I used to have this. I used to have the black version right. and the white version. They're a size 12, so I got rid of them. But it was a DJ Augustine PE. Now it's mm. a release called the Wolf Gray Air Jordan 13s. Uh, it's a clean shoe. I think it's a really, really clean shoe. What do you think about these? I think it's a cop. I think it's a sitter. Like it's gonna sit. Why? I don't I don't see this selling out like that. Jordan 13s have a thing where they're like But a lot of people don't really mess with 13s like that overall. But, but they do only like the don't. black and white ones, like the black. But that's just, this is <clears throat> classic color blocking right here. That's the it thing. Is. Like you can never go wrong. So that's which, why. But because of that, it's like a oh I'll get it later type shoe. And then next thing you know, like years later, like years later, yeah. then it's like, damn, why are those 350 bucks now? So, because you didn't buy it when you right. could have. <laughs> but when you could have, or you could have got them on sale yeah. or whatever. So, I think this is one of those like people are going to be selective. Some people are going to think this is the best shoe ever and they're going to think it's great. I think it's a clean shoe. It's a clean I shoe. I think it's worth getting. But yes. for me in particular, I'm saying it's a pass overall. It's a pass. Because I had the PE and it's just different. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. What are you talking about? Well, size dinner. 14. You want them? We see a size 14. Call your boy. Everybody's going to be trying to hit you up. <laughs> Taxing you 20 over retail. <laughs> All right. Jordan no, 1, not. Tatum, Wash Denim. This is a pass. What you mean? They blow this shoe with the colors. And okay. I'm telling you, you the love only had one color or two colors that I like. You love and hate this shoe. This shoe, the design of this shoe is so hard that you, you can't just throw any colors with it. All right. And they keep doing that. Okay, so it's got like the wash denim vibe on the back. I don't know if that's actually denim. This or is it's, trash. It's just, just the look of it. And trash. it's got like the gum bottom on there. No. To me, this is actually a solid shoe. Uh, trash. It's not trash. It's not great. Okay. I think it's just a solid shoe. A nice. I understand the story. You know what I'm saying? They got the I stories don't. behind it. I get it. You know, the wash denim. I don't know what it means and how significant it is. I wouldn't even want to know the story. But in this I case. <laughs> You want to know the story. It's just a solid shoe. You know what I'm saying? Now, wearing it for- What are you going to wear it with? What's your basketball team colors? That's about it. You're not going to no. wear it off the court. <laughs> you can't wear this shoe. You're going to just wear it while you hoop. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know you got those 24-hour fitness legends out there that are just ballers and they just no. need it there. They need to stop with this shoe. If y'all hear me out. No, they need to with keep this it. With this shoe. They just need to have the right colorways. Stop doing so many colorways on this shoe. This shoe cannot take it. <laughs> it can't. <laughs> This, this shoe cannot take that many weird ass, real, weird, excuse me, weird colors. <laughs> okay. This next <laughs> one is even more weird. I don't, I can't. For sure. I can't do these ones. Are they there, blew it with this one. Air Jordan 1 mid, UNC to Chicago celebrates Mike's college and NBA championships. No. These This are, is worse than them doing the six rings. These are trash. <laughs> <laughs> hey. You don't want the six rings in your collection? Bruh. You don't want these in your who collection. Who is designing these? <laughs> I gotta call up the homies and be like, who was on this project? They're like, well, let's add this idea. Let's add this let's idea. Let's put gold in the elephant print. <laughs> this is stupid. Okay, no, this one is actually bad. This is the past. This is, no. These should come out like 80 bucks. No, these should come out as So like, people have some Jordan 1s? No. Yeah, if they came out, what's the price? I don't know. What they coming out at? Probably like 130. It don't even say. It don't even say. They they, might, oh, these gonna be giving these might away. Be a giveaway shoe. <laughs> these, I don't even know. He's gonna be at the employee store. These are trash. Yeah, those are bad. Those are bad. And you know, you know, buy what you like. At the end of the day, buy what you like. If you like them, buy them. Like I am not holding don't, you back. Imagine a bigger size, 14, 15, than that shoe. Those are trash. I got some new shoes. Uh oh. -uh. I was at the store. Shout out to my guys over at Hearth. Uh, I was thinking, because it said UNC, I, was, I don't know why it said 1450. I was thinking about UNC to Chicago, actually. Uh-oh. I got some new shoes. Check the size tag. Damn. It's a 13. <laughs> Shout out to my guys over at Hearth. What you think about my new fives? This is bananas! 
<laughs> those go hard. That was my new pickup. Oh my god. See I, this right here? I just got those today. This is what they supposed to do. If they if y'all find these in a 14, call your boy. <laughs> Oh my God. See, this is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to get excited. Oh, now this right here is it. This is the other shoe I got out there. This is. I, I did a little shopping spree thing, so I was oh. copying kicks at the store. Oh. I got some other stuff. I gave away some shoes. I did some other stuff. So. Is that the one you did today? Yeah, to I already gave kids? away to, to some kids and everything. It was fun. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that was another pickup. This is another one that I got showing what I got. Oh, did you? I got these on it. The Aqua 8s? Do I have these? You got the Playoff 8s. I thought I got these. You got those? I had to check. Well, this is a size 14, so if you got those, see. I'm taking them back. Let me see. I think I got these. You got those? Is this a 14? I got these. It's a 14. <laughs> no. You already got those? I, I, I Wait, think I did got I get these. you those? I have to look. Well, then I'm going to hold them no, at my no, house. No, 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 no. <laughs> Hey, why can't I get two pairs of something? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> why why can't I get two? How you how you gonna be shoes? How you gonna be an Indian giver? <laughs> That's just wrong. <laughs> hey, I gotta oh. check my collection. I might have these. This is ridiculous at this point. I can't get him no more shoes, y'all. I, I might, got him all the I shoes. almost feel like I got these. If not, I just wanted these so bad and I wished them. Oh, you did? And it came true. It was a, oh yeah. Maybe I wished them true. Well, there hey, you go. Next video, I'm gonna see if I have these, and I'm gonna show you if I if I got them. I'm gonna show you the other pair. And if you don't, if I don't, wait. So if you do, what you gonna do with that pair? I'm returning them and get some for me. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. We're not saying that. I was just saying thank you again. Oh. But you know what? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm lucky either way it go. This is crazy, <laughs> bro. I'm done. I'm done getting people's shoes. No, no. I maybe I was gonna maybe get, I don't have these. I was getting some shoes for Alexis. She was like, I already got all the shoes. I'm like, who? Else? I got everybody in the family. <laughs> hey, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next shoe. Air Jordan Two Low, Sky Orange, Sky J Orange. Almost. I, I gotta go check my shoes. Hey, what do you think about these? Those are adult only. And, and these, I are, think these are gonna be at outlets. They'll be at outlets because of, they're trying to go with all the, I would wear them. Mm -hmm. Like as grown man. It was clean. That's what I'm saying. I would wear them as grown man. You'll look good with them. You can dress them up, dress them down. Them You're going on a casual business meeting, doing something, light drinks or something. You know, I'd wear them. But the problem is right now, they're releasing a lot of shoes in these colors. <laughs> Remember the other shoes you said? They would respect me more if I had these shoes. <laughs> Them right. other shoes right. from Jordan 3's. But what about that? But they, they're gonna respect you more if you got They respect up. me a little bit more. <laughs> Hell no. <nah. laughs> hey, your camera. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that. <laughs> That's weird. There you go. Can you hear us? The, you can they hear can't us? hear us. You can't hear us? It went out. What is going on? Wait, hold on. Say what's up. <laughs> <laughs> we got some people in here watching. We got some people in the DNA fam. They're watching the uh, live stream as we record. How do, what do we, they're, wa they're live stream watching us as we make this video right, right now. There right. we go. All right. Yeah. Hit the I, link. And I appreciate y'all. Yeah, Thank you. yeah. All right, we're back in action. Hold on, let me get them set back up. Okay, we talked about this one before. Oh, that didn't come out? Air Jordan 2 Low Varsity Royal. You talked about this one before. I like it. I like it. I just don't like the yellow on the bottom. It is It is throwing it off a little bit. But I'd rather I it just like look like, shit. have the vintage look <laughs> all throughout, or like just be crispy. Yeah. All you know what I'm saying? One or the yeah. other. Like, I don't want it to be kind of that mix. Because it's too white, like on the upper. Right. For it to be, I don't know. Why do they do that? I don't know. They, they got different reasons for different stuff. And I get it. Like, if you do a white on the bottom, it's going to get dirty immediately. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to show that kind of age and that color to it. But, but Air Force Ones, you have white bottoms. Yeah, you also wear those like three times and then get rid of them. That's so, so that's that's okay. like, you, you know go saying? buy some more. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. <laughs> I guess do what you do. All right, hold on. Let me see what we got right here. These are hard. So this was a Gary Payton PE right. back in the day. And they call it the Lakers Field Purple Air Jordan 12. In my mind, the Gary Payton 12s. Right. But these go crazy. 
I give them a solid seven. These go crazy. Oh, the purple with the black, the leather, the gold accent. I just don't have enough purple. These is I got two purple shirts, three. Well, you don't need them eights then. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they is hard. They, I'm kidding. These go hard. Them is hard. I think this is a cop. I think this might be one of those ones that like, it's not too hard to get, but at the same time, you gotta put a little bit of effort in. Like, all right, make sure you go grab the shoe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It might be out in your size or something. Like for me, size 13. They probably won't make a bunch of work. Yeah, it's like it won't be available. <laughs> uh, you might find the smaller sizes. Sometimes like if you go to the Nike side or something, you say, oh man, they got them available. And you click on it, it's like size nine and under or something like that, you right. know? So right. this might be one of those scenarios where you see like, oh, technically it didn't sell out, but like in your nah, size. No, with the gold, like, y'all know if I, you know, I like to wear my little jewelry and everything. And keep the gold in my glasses and all that. I'll work those. Yes, okay. Sure. Air Jordan 1 Low, OG, Atmosphere Gray. No. This is cool. A little summertime vibe. Got that vintage look, like not that pure white. Is that a suede on the um, toe? It looks box? like a gray suede or like a, that cracked leather. But you know what though? The you know leather look kind of nice. These look nice. I might have to change that up. This is cool. Yeah, because I was looking at it like a cheap, yeah. They... Nah, you got that, it's the OG cut, which is what you yeah. want. And every time they do the OG cut, they always do better materials than the retro cut. I'm so, a, yeah. Well, vast majority of the time. Not every time, yeah. but you know, everybody's gonna argue majority in the comments. Of the majority of the time. So in this scenario, this is a solid shoe. I think this is a great addition to the collection. Easy cop too. I give it an eight. Great for the It'd summer, cool. going into the fall. I think yeah. it's a nice shoe. And it looked like you could clean it up pretty easy. So that's a solid eight. Yeah, that get it. Yeah, for sure. Okay. All right. At first I was like, yeah, but you look at the materials. The materials, I, if I don't like the colorway all the way, mm -hmm. but I like the materials, then it can gravitate a little bit. Okay. So I think this might be the first <laughs> version. I haven't done the research yet. I'm not sure. <laughs> and it's funny because it's called the fundamentals, but this is the new Air Jordan 38. These are trash. So the best thing they can do with this shoe these is are, not release it. These are trash. <laughs> what are they, they trying to pull the Jason Tatum's and put it in this shoe? No, they're trying to mix like... <sighs> no. These are just garbage. They went too far. Ah, oh, these are trash. They're probably like great hoop shoes though. They went too far. They might be great hoop shoes, I don't know. Ah, oh, these are trash. It sucks I because even... like the higher number models, I mean 38, like... You know what I'm saying? Where but they make it money on the first one. They're what? still on the one. Right. The one they can release in 19 different ways or whatever, how but many like, different hundred ways. My question ways. is like, what number so, are they gonna go to? Like, what is Why the, don't they just stop? Is it 50? Is it 40? Is it- They already passed 23. They should have stopped at 23. I know this, but that's the question. And after 23, I'm gonna tell you. No, okay, okay. After 23, there are like a few, literally how a many? few. From a few. 23 to 38. Like three. There's like three solid ones. So they there. missed for 15 more years. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so based off of the hit and miss percentage. <laughs> you blew it. Cut the line. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh my God. Oh, they look like they got nice material. But see like right there, that little clip right there where they show just the eh. Then it, it looked, what was they thinking? Yeah, well, all right. As of right now, maybe it's the color blocking. You know, sometimes the color blocking changes the look of the shoe. No. <laughs> no. All right, we got do four not, shoes left. We don't want nothing to do with those shoes. <laughs> we got four <laughs> shoes left. This one right here, I have been anticipating. Thought would never retro. And oh, oh. my laptop Where's, died. Where's the plug in? It's way over there. It's not gonna fit. Hold on. Don't you got a plug right here? All right, we're back in action. Here we go. Air Jordan Five Burgundy. What do you think about this shoe? No. No. Why? Burgundy. It's burgundy. What you mean? If it was black, it'd be cool. Why? We you got a bunch wear. of black shoes already. You can't wear it with nothing. These go hard. Yes, you can. No. You just wear it with all black. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> you can't do that. Okay, so these came out back when I was like in high school era and I still have a pair to this day. It, so how many times this? you wear them? Huh? How many times did you wear them? All the time. And now I've I never them. seen you wear these in a burgundy. Back in the day? Oh. I wore these back in the day. I don't remember. Now they're like not wearable. That's why I'm excited for the retro. No. 
Remember the, the uh, Chambray 7s? The black and baby blue? Yes, I like those. That was the same scenario. I was wearing those and these back in the day. They're but, retro and now, nobody cares about them. They're easy cops. I'm fine with that. Because for well, me, yeah, it's for like sure. You buy what you like stuff. and all that other stuff. But I don't know. I think the color is hard. I do like the fact that the stitch pattern and everything like they did on the black ones. But burgundy is hard to match up with anything. I'm going to pull a fit off with them. And then you'll tell me what you think. I have to see them in hand. In so the for me, it's a time. cop. For you, it's a drop. But yeah. I think it said the retail was two twenty five. dollars Definitely not. Way too high. No. Way that's wasting high. money. Way too high. So I'm gonna find them at a good deal though. Yeah, I'm 180. Not, I'm not. I'm not uh, doing. I'm not doing retail on those. Okay, so these ones are 200 bucks. Now Jordan ones are 180 bucks. But right. this one's a collab. It's got some special details. Air Jordan One Union. So the other, the other Union ones, they're like three thousand, five thousand dollars. I don't know, something crazy. This is the new Jordan Union ones. They don't. They didn't have like this whole baseball or whatever. This is disrespectful. For me, this is disrespectful to the Jordan brand to do a shoe like this. These are different. That's too different. This is disrespectful. I think that no. when it comes to the Union collabs, <laughs> like the hype has died. You know what I'm saying? The hype We is talked gone. about that. Remember, it's joining too many times, trying to keep going, Because they going. started doing all them terrible, you know, models. Like this? Colorways. Yeah, so they're trying to come back to the one because that's what created the hype. But then the problem is, it's like, it's a horrible colorway. Compare this to the first one, it's which is not as good. No, no. And then it's got like the weird stuff going on. Hey, in the comments, y'all let me know when y'all see this shoe. I'm telling you right now, this shoe is trash. I think, I think if anything, I'm more interested to see what the resale is gonna be on these after they come out. Is it gonna be $400? Is it gonna be $1,200? But why know. would they, why would it, why? There's not, just for the hype of the, the collab? I think the Ama ones are better than these. Yeah. You see the Ama ones over there? The tan with the brown? Oh, yeah, yeah. Those, I like those more than these. I wouldn't do this. And those don't hit for that much. But again, I don't know. We'll see. I think if they might have dropped this back when the ones were hot, oh. this could have potentially been one of those shoes. And I was even that right thing in. with the two different laces? Well, they always come with different laces. I know. What I'm saying, what I was about to say is, no, neither lace helped it. No. Nothing. <laughs> At all. <laughs> oh my god. Cause some shoes could have that look and then you change the lace, you're like, ooh, yep. that made it clean. Yep. No. Neither one of those laces. Oh yo. If this is a a women's release or not. I thought it was, but then I don't know if it is. I don't think it I mean it might not be, but it's the iron or what's it called? Light iron ore frozen moments air Jordan 4. What do you think about these? I think it's great for a female. I think this is a good looks looking good. shoe. It's a good looking shoe. Um, if the, I think this is a women's release, but I don't know. You guys gotta let me know down below. It says below women on it. But Does it? Did it say it? Yeah. Oh no, I didn't. No, it didn't. I didn't see it no more. I thought but it either way, it. this is a clean shoe. I think it's a solid release. I don't know about it selling out. I know Jordan Four hype is hot still. Yeah. But it's kind of slowly dying down. Do you, do you think down. girls wear more fours than guys? I feel like girls wear fours more than guys. I don't think so. I think girls wear more so. dunks than guys. Oh, for sure. But but I'm saying, just kind of look, y'all. Check it out. I, Because I feel like I see more girls in fours than fives. Than I feel uh, like guys. It's, I feel like it's more guys in fours. I think really? so. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. All right. Last one. You ready for this one? Yeah. Soft Pink Air Jordan 2. This is like that vintage OG cut. They got the rare, they got the, uh, what's it called? The retro vintage vibe on the bottom end. You just got like some suede. What is that, suede on the upper? That's, That's all throughout. Oh, but then it's got like this, like, you see the material on the back end? It's like a canvas. These are not, I don't know. They're not, no, no. Okay, maybe a girl size, maybe a small, like a five. If this was a big, yeah, a you size know, 13, maybe like 14, a, maybe for like a female, like with like good. a five through an eight. Yeah, maybe that might be cute for a female. But you talking about a grown man? I am pulling up in these. No, I am pulling up in these. Okay, retails one hundred and seventy-five dollars. Is it a cop or a drop? A drop. It's a drop. I wouldn't be surprised you see those in a 
<laughs> the Nike. They was going to the outlet. Uh, Nike outlet stores. They was going to the outlets. So all right, throughout the whole month, recap some of the top releases. What do you got in mind? I'm thinking the low top black with the red bottom. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Black toe ones. The you the uh, light pink and the black yeah. fives. Yeah. That's a clean one. And I think the I don't pass up the other one. That one right there. The gray. All right, the wolf gray thirteen. Yep. Yeah. Yep. The Lakers 12, yep. Burgundy 5. No. Nope. That, that's about it. No Burgundy 5. Oh, laptop died again. Uh, We're out of hey. here. So long story short, they've been coming out with too many shoes and blowing it. There's that's why I was yeah, and the crazy thing is it's like all these shoes are coming out and like nobody's even copying nothing no more right now. No, they need to go back to the drawing board and stick to the basics. But the problem is the corporate side. They have to hit these numbers to keep their jobs. But they're giving away their job by doing what they're doing. But that's what I'm saying. How do you hit the numbers when you have like these crazy sales and numbers and all this stuff, and then you what? don't have the amount of units sold, the money made, all the things. Get rid so of some of the people. It's a rough game. It's a rough, rough game. Yeah, but you're gonna tarnish the brand. I get that. If they keep doing this, they're tarnishing the brand I by steady just releasing anything. Oh, we're just going to do something just to make it happen. Right. And they're going to be the one to kill the whole market. Right. For the resellers, for the for sneaker cons, for everything. All and, that, the, and the thing everything. is like they need resellers. They need hype. They need all those things at the same time. No matter what right. people want to argue or not about it. That's what keep it relevant. Every part of every market, of every yeah. single game, of every single economics, you name it, hype demands, product, all this stuff, they supported the game. Right. And right now, they're, they're messing kinda, it up. They're not playing the game right. <laughs> no, no, they're messing it up. And they're coming out with the prices. I feel like prices they're coming out with the prices too high, like they're the reseller. Right. Right? right, and so instead of coming out at 180, you want to come out at 225. Yeah, and then don't make as many. And then nobody. And then the reseller's not going to get them to resell. Yeah. So you're going to lose sales there, and because nobody want to go for 250, 275 right. Right. for something that was basic. And that's the funny part about the resellers that people hate, right? Like, so resellers buy up a lot of that inventory that's just sitting, which allows accounts to stay active, which causes the brand to make more product and make better products and do right. those things. So just like people hate resellers, they also need resellers in the game yep. to make this stuff happen. So it's always funny like seeing the different angles and perspectives, yeah, yeah. which a well, whole nother video, a whole nother topic. Either I know, way. We don't want to get off hand, but <laughs> it's going, y'all just don't kill the market. Don't keep, I mean, if y'all want, if anybody at the, especially a Nike Jordan brand, be careful about what you're doing <laughs> yes. because you're messing up the market Yeah. by just releasing any old thing and collabing with anybody. And there's great, you know, and that's the crazy thing. They still haven't collabed with me. So here's another thing is, they could collab, now I'm gonna toot his horn for a second. <laughs> they could collab with you and do better than yeah. some of the collabs that they got. You know, hey. I mean, and not just because you're my son, I'm telling you some real stuff. I know. Cause you're gonna look at the design. shoe, you're gonna look at the shoe, you're gonna do the design, you're gonna say it, and you, get, and you know what sells and what don't sell. Right, right. Some of these people that they collab with don't even do shows. Right. So you collab with them and then they just throw some, oh, put my name on it because I'm finally with them. And, right. and it's crap. <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, it's a part of the game. It's politics oh, too. There's God. so many other things that go along with it. Either way. Jordan brand, we need a DNA show shoe. That part. And if you've watched this far into the video and haven't subscribed yet, <sighs> hit that subscribe button. We got to go. We got some more videos to shoot. It's gonna be fun. Look at Check that. out the website shopdnashow.com, all those different things. We got the new hats that's coming in. All right, y'all, we out. <laughs> I would never let you down. Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight-week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there. Listen, my DNA, hey, the only choice I like to make what I'm aware to do. I would never let you down, it's in my DNA The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today I was made for it, it's in the DNA